Hey guys, Rival Boss here, and really quickly, I'm going to show you how to install a new game to your image very easily. Uh, so first off, you need to connect to your Raspberry Pi via either the IP or RetroPie in the, after it's connected to the network. You do have to connect it to your Wi-Fi first. Uh, that's in the other video I made. Um, so anyway, eventually you'll get connected to your RetroPie and it will look something like this, giving you a BIOS config, ROMs, and splash screens. You're going to want to go to the ROMs folder. Then you're going to download yourself a game. This time I have peak performance for the PlayStation 1. Uh, I'm not going to really put where you can get ROMs, but you can find ROMs. Um, anyway, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the correct folder. So this is a PSX game. It's going to go in the PSX folder. I would then drag and drop this into the folder, and if it was connected wirelessly, it would connect right to here and, and drop it in. Uh, to save time, I've already dropped, dragged and dropped this, so we have the game right here. Okay, so we've already done that. Uh, now what we need, uh, now basically the game is playable at this point, like you could go in there after you restart emulation station, and the game will be there. But let's say you want some box art for it. Well, here's an easy way to do it. Uh, first off, you're going to go to this website, and I will put this in the description, and you're going to download this Universal XMLS Scraper Volume 2, either the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Then you're going to open yourself up a folder, and you're going to uh, put that into a the, the new folder, and then run it, and it will you know, populate these other folders like this. Then you're going to run the application by clicking the application, and it will come up something like this. Um, it will ask you a couple questions, uh, what you want to connect to. Uh, you're going to put your RetroPie. If you've connected wirelessly already to it to move the ROM, it should have no problem finding it. Um, and then also it's going to ask you what type of images you want. Uh, you can also pick those later in the options visual. Um, but yeah, you're going to basically pick a mixed visual, no marquee, and if you want a video, put a yes or no. And um, afterwards, uh, it's also going to ask you to join their website. You don't have to do that. Just go back. Um, so anyway, eventually you'll get to a screen, something like this, where it will say screensaver mix, and that's that we're getting mixed, um, and then it will say that's going to RetroPie. So this is a PSX game. Uh, you can scrape all your systems, but I don't recommend it with this giant image that we have. It will take forever, and it will probably air out before it's done. Uh, but you're going to want to pick the right... Um, the right system. So in this one, we've picked PSX because this is a PSX game. Uh, eventually, uh, it will take a second and it will say scrape PSX just like this. And a lot of times it will even show the icon uh, like a Sega CD I did with this too, uh, right here of what you're scraping. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the scrape PSX button. You can hit it here or down here. So we're going to hit scrape PSX. Scrape. It's going to see if it can connect, and it's going to come up with this, do you want to kill uh, emulation station? You're going to say, OK. So now what it's doing is it's going through all of my ROMs. Uh, most of them it knows it already has images for. but And this might take quite a bit. Um, but eventually, it's going to go through all the different uh, ROM files and make um, images, uh, you know, video and sometimes box art, depending on what it is. So you just kind of let this thing run for quite a while. And uh, we're going to come back to it when it's done here. So I'll see you soon, right after this gets done. So now that we have scraped the entire thing, we'll get an image that looks something like this. And it will say how many ROMs were found and if it was able to scrape them. So now we're going to have to have our keyboard plugged in over here for our uh, machine. And all we're going to do is we're going to type in uh, the emulation station again. We're going to hit enter. We're going to wait for this to boot. 
and we're going to see if our ROMs are in there. And if everything went according to plan, we should have either some box art, some videos, or all of those. Uh, usually if it doesn't have one thing, it finds another. Uh, it's very seldom that it will find anything. The, the ROMs that are um, really oddly named, or if you find them from, like, and they have, like, numbers after them or something, those are, like, people custom made those zip files and that's going to be kind of hard to find um, but if you download from a pretty good website or you find a, a, a set um, anyway so here we go so we're going to go over to our um, PlayStation okay and now we're going to see if those are in here and as you can see let's see there's a uh, Bloody Roar, but let's see if the new one got uh, installed. So we have peak performance. And as you can see, there was a video. There's a video playing right now. And as you come to it, there's box art for peak performance. Also has all the information on it. So anyway, that's how you're... And I also, by the way, I also did Sega CD. I, I took a lot of the Sega CD games that they had in there because they had some pretty garbage Sega CD games. And I put some good ones in there. And as you can see, I use the same scraper to basically get all of my images for my Sega CD, which is amazing. Freaking Lords of Thunder. How did they not have Lords of Thunder in there in Kilo Flying Squadron? But anyway, pop for mail, mail too. But anyway, so that's how you quickly put a, um, put a ROM onto your system. And uh, somebody asked also real quick that uh, is there like a screensaver function and I was going to show that real quick. So if we go back to the main screen, uh, I changed my screensaver to show game footage. And now you just hit the select button and it's going to bring up a random game and tell me about the game. Now if I wanted to play this game, I could hit the start button and it would instantly take me into this this game. Uh, so let's see what the next game is here. And it should run for 20 seconds. And then switch over to a new game. There we go. So now this naughty boy, uh, I'm gonna try to launch it. So I'm gonna just hit the start button. And as you see, it just brought up that game. It's gonna launch it and we're in the game. So if you liked this video or found it helpful, oh, we got to do this. If you found this uh, found this game helpful um, or found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.